We're now going to expand a binomial using the binomial theorem. So we're going to start with 3x minus y to the fourth, and we're going to expand this using the binomial theorem. So remember the binomial theorem says we're going to do it's the sum of r equals 0 to n of n choose r of x to the n minus r y to the r, where this is x and this is y. And so what we're looking at is in this particular case, 4 means I'm going to get 5 entries, 4 choose 0, 3x to the 4th, y to the 0, plus 4 choose 1, of 3x cubed plus, not plus, times y to the 1, plus 4 not minus y to the 1, make sure you get your sign in there, 4 choose 2, of 3x squared minus y squared plus 4 choose 3, 3x times minus y cubed, and I didn't give myself enough room, plus 4 choose 4 of 3x to the 0 minus y to the 4th. So we're going to start right here, and 4 choose 0 is going to be 4 factorial over 0 factorial times 4 factorial, which goes away and we get 1 divided by 1. So this is going to give us a 1. And remember that the Pascal's triangle is symmetric. 4 choose 4 is the same as 4 choose 0. This is also going to be 1, because over here we're going to get 4 factorial over 4 factorial times 0 factorial, which is 1 over 1, or 1. So 4 choose 1 is 4 factorial over 1 factorial times 3 factorial, which is 4 times 3 factorial, over 1 times 3 factorial, which is just 4. And 4 choose 3 is going to be the same thing, so I'm going to show this just once, but notice that this just splits and is still 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial times 1. It still gives me 4. So I only have to do one of the n choose r's, and as long as I do the outside and then work in, it works all the way across. So these two match, these two match, and then this one's by itself. So 4 choose 2 is 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 factorial, over 2 factorial times 2, which is 6. And notice this matches Pascal's triangle, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, which is what we had. So now we end up with 1 times 3x to the 4th. Well, 3 to the 4th is 81. So this gives us 81x to the 4th. And minus y to the 0 is just 1 plus 4 times 27x cubed times a minus y plus 6 times 9x squared times y squared, remember the square sees the y, plus 4 times 3x times minus y cubed, plus 1 times 1 times a positive y to the fourth. Well, now we're ready to get our answer. It's simply 81x to the fourth, plus... 27 times 4 is 108, no, minus, because of the minus here, minus 108x cubed y, plus 54x squared y squared, minus 12xy cubed, plus y to the fourth, and we now have our binomial. So we write out what we need, the chooses, we put the first term to the first power and 0, and it decreases by 1 and increases by 1, and we get our answers. We're just going to show one more quick example. x minus 2 cubed is going to be a 4 term. It's going to be 3 choose 0 times x cubed minus 2 to the 0 plus 3 choose 1 x squared times minus 2 to the 1 plus 3 choose 2, x minus 2 squared, plus 3 choose 3, 1, this should be written as a 1 as well since it's 
to that power minus 2 cubed. Remember that 3 choose 0 is 3 factorial over 0 factorial times 3 factorial. That just leaves a 1. This will also be a 1. 3 choose 1 is 3 factorial over 1 factorial times 2 factorial. 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial is just 3. So both of these are 3's. So this gives me 3x cubed plus 3 x squared times a minus 2 plus 3 x times 4 plus, well, that shouldn't be a 3, that should be a 1. 1 x cubed plus 3 x squared times minus 2 plus 3 x times 4 plus 1, the x is gone, times minus 8. And this gives me a final answer of x cubed minus 6 x squared plus 12x minus 8, and this is my perfectly expanded x minus 2 quantity cubed.